Hello and welcome back to the Beyond Typus multiplayer campaign with Arumba, Stijo, and Zippy. Say hello, guys. Hello, guys. Hey. There you go. Going? You tell me. I've talked. We've we've had this conversation about you telling me to do <laughs> stuff and me not doing it. <laughs> right, but maybe what I want you to do is actually to say that you're not going to do it, and in that case, you're doing it. So he's he's taking taking it to a new level. He's out out thought you. Mm. Seven D chess. Even Groogie isn't on my level. Seven day this. I still don't know, like, at a glance what... Okay, so Lambert has jurisprudence ideas. I don't have any idea, like, roughly what that means. <laughs> like, hmm. <laughs> nice. Good idea, group. When... Uh, d does it give, like, a... Did none of them give, like, a little write-up about, like, what they're about? Like, text do? I don't think so. Well, that would be kind of useful. I wonder, should I just take Admin Tech 7 super early, get access to the university, and then take another ID group? You could do it. It's By the way, the state maintenance modifier from buildings is definitely applying. We are definitely paying extra for it. Okay. It's very easy for me to test because I have one whole province. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. What, you, you haven't already conquered uh, the people you went to war against? Oh, I've, I'm in my next war. Oh, no, I'm being attacked. Crap, they got me in the mountains. That's going to be a stack wipe. Oh, that's rough. There goes one of my fancy-ass calf. Wait, yeah. there's mountains? The mountains? Wait, there's no mountains up there. What are you talking about? Did, Did you just assume my position on the map? I mean, oh. you don't know, oh, you don't know, yeah. where, I'm, you don't know where I'm fighting. Did you? Yeah. Did you come down to the Alps? I was in the, the province of Lienz, adjacent to uh, Austria, because I needed to be down here to siege out a secondary participant. Oh. Oh, yeah. So you did. Nice. Got yearly professionalism plus 0.5. Um, the, uh, the finisher for uh, mercenary ideas is professionalism decay, negative 0.5%. Uh, per year for every 10% over 50%. So basically, That's if you're at like 90% professionalism, you're losing 2% per year. Sounds like math. It's pretty uh, simple math, though. Uh, I don't know about that. It's like real quick maths. Yeah, but I gotta like think about it and stuff. Uh, this game does require thinking. Oh. What the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to have to do any thinking. I think I'm going to have to just eat some unlawful territory because I can't... Uh, I can't wait the 10 years. It'll be way too long to, to be allowed to integrate someone diplomatically. That can't be when I finally grow. Still waiting on my manpower to... to uh... Replenish. I'm gonna have to actually turn to my nobility. I've doubled my development. Yeah. Thanks. God damn it. Stupid multiplayer. Can't pause and look at development and just give me a stack wiped <laughs> army. Bullshit. I mean, that's just kind of the stuff you have to deal with. I thought you'd be used to it by now. I'm playing for like four days straight. I, I was, but I've been in Michigan for Thanksgiving. I haven't played in like a week. That's just like excuses, really, though, isn't it? Most. So I get plus 17 on there. I could get Bobbio as a vessel. That would be quite nice. So is anyone else playing like the vassal game? Um, I'm, I'm trying to. It's not working great with only one province, but I'm trying. I wanted to. <laughs> Stupid Portugal. Ooh, I'm gaining only two Diplo points a month. 
That's horrible. But if I get Bobbio, I'll get another plus two, I think. It should be okay. It's very difficult in this region to expand if your ally, Burgundy, does nothing. Well, you got 20 favors. You could um, you could use the prepare for war button to get him to call accept a good claim, or just use him in two small wars. By now, you might even have 30 favors, right? From the start of the game? Um, I have 34. Yeah, use yeah. I'm, I'm going to use him against Savoy, and I'm going to backstab the crap out of him and give him nothing, and then I'm going to break the alliance. And then we can, you know, take him from two sides. You I can see. you can you can take Luxembourg and I will take everything south of Verdun. I like, I like how you're allowing me a province. You're like <laughs> This is my war, like this my... is my backstab. <laughs> he backst he he gave me nothing. Like, that can't be allowed to stand. He gave you twenty favors, is what he gave you. That's nothing. See, twenty favors. See? See? <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> see see Steve shows like Oh, my entire country got wrecked, but we won the war, and I'm like, he gave fine. me nothing, and I feel like I lost. I That's bled for that man. I bled for him. Alright, so at the moment, uh, Arumba, you've lost the least amount of troops. <laughs> I've had the least amount of troops. <laughs> Castile, Castile's at 78k, Scotland at 45k, I'm at 13, well, 40k, and then Aachen there at 26.5k. Am I really at the lead? Yeah. Most of it is attrition as well. <laughs> well, not most of it, it's, it's pretty close. Then again, same for me as well, to be honest. But when you're sieging mountains and you don't want to get, you know, attacked in the mountains, you've got to stick everyone there. So what, you played a game as Venice? I just tried it out just to see. Um, uh, naturally, I was talking to Stijo about this before the session today. Naturally, the two countries that I thought to try first were the ones that crashed the game. <laughs> uh, so there was that. The, the real risk for me right now is I'm looking to take a third subject, and I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. It's probably not. Three subjects is a lot for an OPM to manage. Well, I'll tell you that if you have three subjects, you get a... It's not the right button. That's the right it's button. It's a triggered modifier? Yeah, there's a triggered modifier when you have three. Diplomatic relations plus one and liberty desire in subjects negative ten. Oh, is it... I don't see anything about that. Where I don't even it doesn't show up. It's, triggered modifiers. You just, yeah, it's one of those things that it'll oh, just show up. It's called decentralization. It is there. It's I'm at five out of eight, and it does say yeah, I see it. But five out of eight. Five out of eight. What? Huh. Um. Well, well, let's try it. If you hover over, it says is the overlord of three or more subjects. Yeah, but it also says eight. Eight I, what? I don't know. I'm at five out of eight, and I have it. So. Very well. Um, I think because there's an there's like the three, then there's a five, and then maybe there's if you have eight subjects, you get another breakpoint of stuff. That could be. How many subjects do I have right now? I'm gonna take less I money just in case. Four. All right. Well, I'm going up to five. Oh, he's going to say no. I have been grooming you for so long. Don't admit that. <laughs> Whoops. How how long ago did you join the Empire? Because you weren't in the Empire. Who? Bobbio. He's the little white dude inside me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. This ain't getting better, is it? It's never getting better for you. Oh, come on, game. My available rivals are Burgundy, Austria. Like, come on. What? I'm a one-province miner, you piece of crap. 
This yeah, but you ridiculous. have what? Three vessels now? Two vessels? So what? It's ridiculous. I can't possibly rival the freaking emperor. Why not? I did. <laughs> no balls. It's just it's, it's just <laughs> dumb. I don't like it. Besides, I got snack wiped. I lost like ten years of manpower. I think I did actually get something in that war. I think I got some cores back. Ah, can't oh, open timeline that, when not paused. That might explain why uh, there was no like indicator that you had uncored land. If they were cores returned, then yeah. You could have like read the piece. I did, and it said too, but then I looked around and I couldn't core anything. And I was like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, no, no, I got, um, I got Biela in 1470, and... I got Vercelli in 1473. Sorry, no, no. So, Biello, I got beforehand. I got Vercelli. Is that it, though? They only got one province? I would just be happy with 20 favors with a world power. Is he a world power? I feel like Burgundy's a world power. Yeah, he's 8th rate world power. You should just be happy. I've got, I've got a silly question here. I might have a silly answer for you. What do you do with favors? Jelly beans. Uh, ten favors allows you to call in an ally into a war without promising promising them land. Yep. Okay. You can also spend ten favors to increase their trust by five, which gives them five more reasons to defend you, five more reasons to defend your offensive wars, and other things. You gain trust pretty much just from that with uh, allies. So how do I do? How do I do the favors thing? Like how do I? Uh, so who's your like who's your ally that you think you have favors? France. France. Yeah. Did well, you, they're not my you... ally anymore though. <laughs> yeah. So you, you okay? But if you right click on France, go to their their diplomacy screen. Yeah, yeah. Above all the text like options, there's like a little dove and a hand. There's three taps. There's uh, opinions of France. Diplomatic to... feedback. Diplomatic feedback is where trust and favors are hidden. Yeah, you oh, gotta. Okay. It's, it's a crazy system, but it's in there. All right. Okay. No, I see it now. You should still have favors, but you can't do anything with him because he's not your ally anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Although, he might accept an alliance still. Holy crap, uh, he almost didn't accept an alliance from me. I'm going to take him from him. No, at the moment, he's kind of pissed. At the moment. Yeah, that's my ally now. Did you well, actually ally him? Marriage, so, yeah. What was the war between England and France going? Uh, France has got Normandy, but they're not getting onto the uh, island itself. <laughs> Which is pretty much how every war between England and France has ever gone. Boo. Did you hear in the next patch they're adding in new naval doctrines? They're going to add boats? Because <laughs> the AI doesn't, doesn't know about boats. <laughs> I, I have been wanting the ability to dock, um, sorry, land troops on, you know, naval invasions and stuff faster for so long. I was hoping that they would add it as a, um, like a finisher for naval to make it, you know, worth taking ever. <laughs> Like that right. would that would make it worthwhile in my opinion. If I can get my troops onto a boat and land them on an island without taking a tick of naval attrition, I'm all for that. Sign me up. Yep, I remember I uh, I was doing a run. There's a, an achievement uh, where you're supposed to get to 50 innovativeness. And this was before I did my innovativeness spreadsheet and realized how awesome it is. Um, so I, I was kind of making fun of it, and I was like, all right, let's just take some bunch of like meme ideas. We went. Um, Maritime, naval, and something else, just because no AI ever takes them. And they're that bad. Even the AI won't take naval. It's it's so useless. Pump that up a little bit. How much is it gonna cost? 347 for a castle. Holy crap. That's expensive. Still waiting to get Diplo 6. I can't I can't build a fleet till I get Diplo 6. Sieging takes so long. Did you consider getting siege pips on your generals? Yeah, just watch me. I'll just buy some siege pips on my generals. That's exactly how you well, do it. Yeah, you just roll more generals. That's all you have to do. Yeah. So what is... Let's see. Ooh, that's right. I can do a golden arrow now. I forgot about that. Can I change my the name of my king? From hope you don't die to please die, you useless fuck. <laughs> there you go. Castile. Venice. Oh, for 56 tradition. That's a bit excessive, isn't it, I remember? 
56 Ooh. what? Military tradition? No, yeah. I need more. I need all the traditions. I get two more leaders without upkeep, and I get yearly army tradition plus one now from general staff ideas. I felt like I was actually doing quite well on my military tradition, but I'm actually in last place out of us. I, I don't really know how I got so much tradition. Probably from all the fighting I've been doing. I mean, you're at, you're at second last place. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I was just drilling the entire time. I haven't been at war. I've it's hard to believe we're like 30 years into the game like like I know people think maybe sometimes the episodes are kind of slow but like by always leaving the game running time does pass it goes by pretty consistently in fact yeah I've already uh, I've been enjoying it I don't mind that it's going a little slowly I'm going to declare my loyalty to the Guelph cause sorry the what the Guelph cause Elf? Yeah. There's the Ghibellines, who like the Emperor, who I personally feel is a bit of a dick. Um, or there is the Pope, um, and he is the Guelph person. And I am I am all Guelphy and all that. So um, I now gain 2.61 Papal Influence a year. Okay. Yeah. So Pope will like me until I annex him. Which is probably going to take a while. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of miners in between me and the Pope. <laughs> oh yeah, there is. <laughs> but I mean, I could I could just take a little trip on a boat, but I have no coast, so maybe later. Oh, that's right. Uh, construction cost negative ten percent. That's not going to be enough for me to afford a fort, but it will be. Some part way there. Yeah, take it now. Excellent. My queen is giving me discounts on technology. All right. That's why I don't have professionalism. I spent um, three ticks of it slackening recruiting standards during the war. So just whatever mine is, add fifteen percent, and and that's what I was. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. It's it's I needed it. That's fair. I I need it too. I have uh, very little manpower. I'm I'm like one hundred per month manpower recovery, like super weak. I'm no I'm also. Attack. Oh no! I'm no longer at one hundred a month. Guess what I am. A hundred and a hundred and nine. It's very, very it, impressive. It makes all of the difference. I guess those two provinces that, or one province that I got back from uh, Burgundy, made all the difference. So I'm happy. I'm going to roll my first general with uh, general ideas or whatever it was called unlocked. So his name is Friedrich Wilhelm von Schoneck. Schoneck. Holy shit! He's a five five three four. Oh, oh my Jesus. god! Oh my that... god! That's crazy good. And you I didn't rename him? It. No, no, he's Friedrich Wilhelm. That's uh, 17 pips. Von Schnoke. Oh my god, that is the absolute best he could have been. My range right now is 9 to 17, and he's a 17 pip general. What luck. Wow. You got your own little Napoleon over there. What's it? It's a Friedrich Wilhelm. It's same as, it's like a Prussian name, that one. So I consulted out one of my cav. I've now got two. I think I'm going to stick with it for a while. I'm going to unmothball my uh, my fleet, wait for it to repair, and then I'm just going to declare war because I'm bored. <laughs> Who are you declaring war on now? Morocco. Those filthy Muslim degenerates. Um, <laughs> you we, might not be uploading be these, ordered, uh... but we are. Yeah. Oh, See, it's, right. it's perfectly okay to say, like, Sunni, Shia, like, refer to the religion in-game. <laughs> You're part of the Muslim group, yes, but... <laughs> it's a little bit on the nose there. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why because no? reasons, Dijo, you should know this by now. <gasps> oh, yeah, no, France, France annexed Navarra, you assholes. 
Referring to them as Sunni or Shia is still like the exact same problem because those things still exist today. But then you can yeah, just but, you but, can just say that you're talking about the weather. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only offending half the Muslims if I say those filthy <laughs> degenerates, right? We should we should I, probably I, not use the word degenerate at all, to be honest. Or or filthy. Filthy can get you in trouble too. <laughs> What the fuck? Why can I, I know. call France baguettes, but we can't even say the word Muslim? What the fuck is going on? No, you actually can't do that either. <laughs> it's, yes, I, that's I, also... I can't now. I'll also call, I'll, I'll call uh, the auto blob the kebabs if I want. Uh oh. Alright. We're gonna need a, fourth, a, new, a new member, fourth member. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, monkey, un un unmute yourself. Good, good spot to uh, take a break, I think. Yeah, I think, I think we need it. Uh, we're cold. actually at the, the the timer anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, that was it. That wasn't me. Who brought us in? <laughs> uh, that was me. All right. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope we didn't offend you too much. Sorry. I hope Zippy didn't offend you too much. Um, feel free to click all of the stuff and likes and stuff. And bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> the Reconquista shall continue. <laughs> He's role playing hard. <laughs>